If you follow this guide and watch this video, you will not reach a perfect physique which looks something like from Baywatch or Mr. Olympia certified. That's just not going to happen. But what is going to happen is you are going to build a solid 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10 type of physique, which is pretty good enough for you to impress girls if that's your aim or simply be in an amazing shape and keep your body like a temple. Please understand that having a 10 out of 10 body is difficult to obtain and maintain. If what you want is a magazine cover type of body or something from Hollywood movies, just understand that it takes a lot of diet and hard work to keep up that lifestyle. You have to focus on many things simultaneously and it's just not worth for many many people. There is also the law of diminishing returns which means in simple words more doesn't necessarily mean better. After some time your progress is gonna be slow. In terms of fitness if the first couple of years you put on 20 kilograms of muscle mass the next couple of years or the next few years you're probably not gonna get the same type of results. So to have those extra results extra couple of percent better results is it really worth it or do you want to focus on the basics get the most essential results and just ignore the rest. If you're playing a video game, there's gonna be a main plot line and that's the 90% of the game. Like you don't really need to do all of those side quests. Of course you can do them, right? But the same thing goes to fitness. If you want to build a very solid 9, 8 out of 10 looking type of body, then yeah, there are many things that you can do. But to look like 10 out of 10, which is super shredded, your muscles just look perfect. All of those things require a lot of work, a lot of dieting and tracking your food, which is too much of a hassle. That's why this is a simplified guide to doing the absolute basics to reach a pretty decent and solid looking physique that's better than what 80 to 90 percent of people have number one motivation so we have to talk about what you want to achieve do you want to be a bodybuilder or marathon runner maybe you just want bigger biceps maybe you just want to have visible abs like it really comes down to your motivation and what you want to achieve with your body hey if you're a girl your motivation might be just to get toned and not look too bulky girls are afraid to touch the dumbbell because otherwise they're gonna get bulky i wish that's how things worked anyways do you want to lose fat and do you want to build muscle like what do you want to do those are the motivations and the things that you have to ask yourself but I'm guessing that for majority of people, you want to look decent, you want to look good, you want to look muscular, you want to be strong and look strong. But also if you have taken care of that physical aspect, you also have to challenge your mind and exercise your brain to become better over there. Notice that when we're talking about motivation, we're mostly talking about looks, how you look in the eyes of other people, how you look when you look at the mirror. So it's not only about your body, it's also about how you present your body, how you pose, how you stand, how you walk, all of those things combined give you the looks. But let's just push that aside and just talk about the body and the physical aspect of it. To achieve a body that's better than what 80 to 90 people have, what you have to do is just a couple of things. First, you need some decent muscle mass in the right places. Second, you need to look relatively lean. That's it. Anything besides that is really up to you. But you need those two things to look solid and have a good physique. And notice this works for both men and women. Girls need to put on some muscle too. It makes your body look more athletic and taken care of and most importantly makes you look attractive. So just to clarify, make your motivation clear to yourself and ask the question, what do I want to achieve with my body. If you know that thing, let's jump to the next step. Step number two is going to be understand your body type. I've mentioned this before and I'll mention this again. You need to know your body type. If you don't know which direction you're sailing, you're going to end up nowhere. So you have to know where you're going with that. You have to know what type of ship you're dealing with. If your ship is broken in some parts, it's not going to work. But the same thing with body. You need to know about metabolism or muscle composition or structure. And hey, it looks and maybe sounds very complicated, but it's really very simple. To oversimplify this, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Number one is, are you skinny or fat? And once you've answered that question, the next one is going to be how do you want to manipulate things in your favor? Meaning how you're going to use disadvantages and advantages that you have in your body to give you the best physique and best results in a short time. For example, me, I'm a naturally skinny guy. I didn't really have any type of muscle mass back in the days. Obviously, I need to bulk up and not even give a single thought about cutting down or losing some fat because that's really simple for me. For you, it might be to slowly bulk or cut down or lose fat. It really depends on your body. So understanding your body type is not rocket science. You really need to just look in the mirror and and realize what your next step should be. Once you have identified those things, once you have identified your motivation and your body type, next one's gonna be workout. So our aim is to have a decent looking solid physique. You're not gonna have picture perfect abs or elite looking shoulders or biceps or whatever because those things require more work and more accountability and responsibility. So if you wanna achieve those things, by all means, knock yourself out. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about the most basic stuff that you need in order to be making progress and seeing some results. So what I would suggest is old school workout progress. Programs. For example, full body splits or upper body, lower body splits paired with compound movements, they can be amazing for muscle growth, for losing fat, and in general, building a good physique. And the reason I picked those splits is because it allows you to work more muscles with less time. So instead of going to the gym four to five or six times a week, which is ridiculous, you only need to go to the gym two or three times, which is way less. And it doesn't make it any less effective. And look, of course, you could do something like bro split where you do like back and biceps and chest and triceps, like the usual bro split that people be doing. 
but it's just not enough volume for an optimal progress. Once we're done with that, we're gonna pick compound moment exercises. They're effective at the same time being very efficient, meaning it saves you a lot of time. So I would suggest you pick one workout routine and stick to it over a long period of time for a few months at least before you see initial results and then you can determine whether you're gonna be sticking to this workout or you wanna change things up and mix it up or try something better. As long as you're training each muscle group at least twice a week and progressively overloading, which means trying to lift more and more weights or doing more sets or reps each time you go to the gym, as long as you're progressing in any type of way, you're good to go. Now, with that being said, let's talk about expectations. Please do realize that it's gonna take some time. The difference between now and that future dream body is consistency. So it really takes some time and accountability. Working out for a couple of months or for a few months to see some progress might sound daunting and might make you want to take a shortcut or look for a magic pill. But guess what? Time is gonna pass anyway. So why not capitalize on it right now and start consistently getting your goals? Next up, diet. To make it not complicated, let's break it down to make it easy for you to understand. If you're skinny, bulk up. Calculate your base calorie level and add 500 calories more daily in order to be gaining weight in order to be consistently putting on muscle mass. Try eating protein with every meal that you eat and try to avoid empty carbs or maybe empty calories like alcohol. I would also suggest to have an accountability partner which could be a person or any type of apps like MyFitnessPal where you just simply put the data of the food and it tracks all the food for you. And look, if you're struggling or confused about what type of workout program you should pick or diet plan, you can go to the first link in the description. I have my free ebook there and you can basically find the examples of meal plan and workout program. And on the other hand, of course, if you have excess fat, you need to cut down and lose fat. So again, calculate your base calorie level and just eat 500 calories less a day. But also prioritize protein intake to sustain muscle mass or to be building muscle mass. Besides that, I would also advise you to hop on a high volume, low calorie type of diet where you simply eat foods or vegetables or stuff low in calorie but high in volume. Building a good body is important. Your body is how you look. But also there are a couple of other things that I want to mention which will heavily influence how you look and how people perceive you. So even if you have good body, you might look not good, right? Like not attractive. You might have not the best body, but if you're using some of the things, you might still look pretty fly. Number one thing is going to be tan. This is a construction tan that I'm talking about. And this kind of bums me out. Like people who even work out and who have an amazing body, you know, tanned all the way here and pale here doesn't really look that good. So even if your body is like a temple, you need to take care of other things like tanning or trimming or even like wearing a perfume can have positive associations with you for other people and that's going to elevate your looks. Besides that, I would also advise you to revisit your style because you might have a good body, but if your style sucks, you're not going to look good. So as an example, if you're skinny and you want to look more muscular, then I would advise you to wear clothes that outline your features, outline your broad shoulders and the muscle mass that you have. Last but not least, posture. Look, I know this is obvious, but I don't think you realize how you look. I like to think that I have a good posture, but recently I've been just like shooting some stuff and videos from the trip and I noticed that sometimes I just like lean forward and it doesn't look that good, especially if you look from the side. So I was like, man, I need to fix this thing. So whenever I remember, I try to keep my body straight and keep my back straight, like straight standing up and to maybe even look grounded. Obviously standing with a straight back gives you confidence. It makes you feel like a better person. It also enriches your voice because if you're always like pressed here, your voice gets very squeaky and it goes up. But when you're full of air, when your chest is up, your voice voice even sounds better. In a nutshell, you might have a good body, but if you're walking like a loser, those muscles won't help. There you have it, how to get a good looking body by not overcomplicating things and following easy steps. Putting in some months of work and consistency will set you apart from the rest of the people. Needless to say that the benefits of keeping yourself in shape and looking amazing will give you an unfair advantage. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next one.